If you are looking for an advanced, complete warm up workout, cool down workout, that, 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 all the way along, you are in the right place. This is the workout for you. You're going to be able to do this over and over and over to help yourself get fit and be on that path that is going to help you stay healthy. Let's get into it. Okay, without further ado, let's start getting into the warm up. First and foremost, I want you to think about getting, just sit into your seat, okay? Get your butt towards the front of your seat. You're gonna take your legs straight out, you're gonna put them on the floor. What I wanna start is I'm gonna have you do 10 rocks of the hips. So keeping the legs straight, keeping the spine straight, I want you to hinge forward and back through the hips 10 times. Now again, not rounding the spine, flexion, flexion and extension of the spine, but this is gonna be moving through the hips here. The reason being, those hips need to be able to move during the stroke. So let's teach you how to move them. Okay, 10 of those, very nice. Now, I want you to take one leg, you're going to put it up on the machine, I'm going to have you to turn into your foot. This is just going to be a brief rotational and hamstring stretch. So, leg straight, left leg straight, right leg, or right arm is reaching across, grabbing the toe, and I want you to just open the chest up. So like you're turning to open the chest, up to the ceiling behind you and take some big deep breaths there. Ah. Ah. It's better when you make noises like that. Okay, then let's switch. Okay, right leg forward, left arm grabbing the toe. Let's open. You might get some pops here out of your T-spine or your upper spine. Those should feel pretty good. One more. Ah, okay, very nice. Now from here, please take your head. Give me five nice big head circles each direction. Don't count me because I'm not counting exactly. That's on you. <laughs> All right, go ahead and take that head now. Give it a nice, just gentle pull to the right. I just want you to feel a light stretch. Don't crank your head here and then drop that left shoulder. So drop the left shoulder, almost pull it down like somebody's pulling on your wrist. And let's switch sides. And drop that right shoulder. Oh, that feels so nice. Okay, now to make sure that we get that chest open, take those hands, interlace them behind you so that you make a fist behind you. And then I want you to drive your fist down into the monorail and open your chest as much as you can. Woo. That's nice. That's the stretch you're looking for. You're welcome to give yourself a forward hinge here. You're welcome to do a little bit of hinging if that feels good. Mm. Okay, nice. Now, do me a favor, take those feet, strap them into the foot stretchers gonna get a little movement, get some blood flow into the body. So we're just gonna start moving here. Take some nice full strokes with me. Really practicing the dynamics that you're gonna need today, which is following along with me. Think about keeping your handle level. So no up or down movement with the handle, keeping that handle level. Okay. Very nice. And I want you to focus on relaxing as you slide forward on the machine. Taking some big deep breaths, just gently moving forward. Okay, in two strokes, we're gonna go to arms and body only. That's one. That means the legs are gonna be straight. That's two, here we go, arms and body only. Follow along with me. Here's where we bring in that hinge of the hip that we were practicing. All right, this part's really important because too often people say, oh, well, you gotta keep good posture in the stroke, and you do, 100%. But good posture doesn't mean that you can't open and close the hips. So your body shouldn't be sitting straight up and down at 12 o'clock. You should be swinging between 11 and one but you should be doing it from the hips, not rolling through that spine. That's where back problems start to come in, is when people are using that spine for movement rather than using the hips for movement. Okay, in two strokes, we're gonna go down to the arms. That's one, that's two, arms. Practicing straight in, straight out. Nice, good movement. Don't get stuck 
No stopping at the front or the back. Don't hit your body. You might just lightly graze it, but that's about it. The goal here is that we just find rhythm, right? You need to understand what rhythm really means to the stroke, and that makes all the difference in the world. Okay, in two strokes, we're gonna add the hips back in. That's one, that's two, here we go. And you notice, I still am not using any legs. In fact, what I want you to focus on right now is not pulling your toes into the straps, but instead press your toes down into the foot stretchers while you're doing this. Feel what it's like to swing your body open and have your toes just be flat on the foot stretchers down there instead of pulling yourself on the straps. And that's gonna help teach you that you don't need those straps. They're not your friends. They're just, they're trying, they're, they're just trying to lead you down the wrong path. They're the wrong friend group. Don't get involved with them. I want you to make your own friends. Learn the friends that have got your back. Like me, and like the Dark Horse community. We got your back. Those straps, they're not, they're not a good crew. Don't go hanging out with them. <laughs> okay, in two strokes, we're gonna add in the legs going up to a full stroke where we're gonna add in a little bit, of, little bit of power, a little bit of power. That's one, that's two, here we go. So now you got your legs back. Let's juice it, put in some pressure. We're not taking the stroke right up. We're just pressing harder. Five more strokes. One, two, three, Four, five, and just three more easy strokes. That's one, still good mechanics. That's two, and three. Don't worry about unstrapping. We're just gonna lead this right into the workout, and I'm gonna talk you through getting it set up. The finer details of this workout remain shrouded in mystery as we begin. All I'm gonna give you is how we're just gonna set it up on your monitor and then I'm gonna fill you in as the workout goes on. So that means you gotta stay tuned to make sure you know what the workout is. From the main menu on a concept too, and as always, any machine will cut it to work out with us here because I am always guiding you and I do have a master timer. So if you don't even have a monitor on your rowing machine, that's fine, you can still do it with me. Here we go for our setup. From the main menu, select workout. New workout, sorry, that was the B button. Now the D button. Intervals, D. Intervals, time, B button. Sorry, got lost for a second. We're gonna change the set time to eight minutes. That means I need to change the plus button or the B button seven times. One, two, one, two, seven. That gives me eight minutes. And then set rest time as two minutes. That means I hit the A button. One, two, three, four times. And the plus button B twice. One, two. That gives me two minutes of rest. That is going to be 30 minutes in total for today's workout. Three rounds of eight minutes on, two minutes off. And the finer details will come to you as the workout goes on. Hitting that check mark E. We are going to sit ready and hit this thing. In three, two, one, go. Starting it off at an 18. So we're still going for power here. That's the thing to keep in mind. I want you driving lots of power through the stroke. And your goal here is to focus, how do I brace? How do I push work into the machine? Versus trying to pull the handle to me and versus trying to do it with rate. And that's the thing, right? Is how do I maximize every stroke, even if the stroke rate is low? Because we can create great connection, even at these low stroke rates, that don't require the stroke rate cranking high. What that does is it burns different energy systems for you, creates better metabolic pathways, teaches your body how to burn calories differently. It builds up different areas of your body so that you aren't just in this constant slog of just high stroke rate and just sweating for the sake of sweating. It's terrible, don't do that. 
Anything worth doing is worth doing with intention. And that's really the goal here. Do it with intention. Work out on the rowing machine because you believe it's valuable and because you want to make each stroke worth it. Because when you do that in your workouts, it translates into your life. That's the cool part. Okay, we're going up to a 20 on this one. Here we go. Just bumping it up two beats in the stroke rate. I got you. You just follow along with me. Remember how I talked about falling in with the right crowd earlier? This is, this is it. We're the right crowd. Now, this being an advanced workout, this is one that you can absolutely revisit. If you are past the beginner, you're past the intermediate stage, and you've done those with us, then I cannot encourage you enough. Come to a workout like this, where you practice technique first, you get warmed up, we do it all for you. Then you get into your workout. You could do this three, four times a week, comfortably, if you needed a guide, and you're only gonna get faster as you do it. You could even do one day a week of beginner, one day a week of intermediate, one or two days of advanced, if that's what you're looking for. And then you get a spread of different types of workouts that are going to, again, teach you, but more importantly, give you great workouts and challenge your body in different ways and after all that's the case for a rower it challenges you in different ways don't just do the same thing all the time let my workouts give you the variety that you need Going up to 22, here we go. Two beats up. Settle in with me. Notice we did that in one stroke. It's just subtle changes. Now, I'm gonna give you a focus point. I want you to focus on your breath right now. Pay attention, I'm gonna be quiet. You match up with my stroke rate and just listen to the rhythm that is your breathing. What is it doing? How is it doing? When in the stroke is it doing it? I'm gonna be quiet long enough, I swear, to let you figure it out. Here we go. Now through the end of the third of three minutes left, listen to your breathing and focus on it. guessed it probably jumping up to a 24 on this one. Here we go now. Now what did you learn from your breathing? Did you find your rhythm? Did you start to understand what rhythm came with that stroke rate? And 
can you notice now how that rhythm increases now that we've taken the stroke rate up. This is how you learn to set stroke rate. Boom, mind blown. Your breathing is your rhythm. Your rhythm sets stroke rate. You wanna know how to set stroke rate? Start listening to your breathing. That may be the biggest knowledge bomb I can drop on you at this advanced stage. Try to work that split down without taking the rate up for the final 20 seconds. You got it. Make your flywheel louder. Come on. Push down, push into that machine. And easy. Okay, it's gonna be a rolling two minutes. No stopping. If you need to stop and get a drink of water, you can do that. But we're just lightly moving here. So what did you learn? That's the key here. Learn something from every workout that you do. Don't engage in a workout that's just mindless because you get mindless calories out of it. Right? Are you gonna get as many calories as possible, or are you just gonna kinda trickle some calorie burn? The more intention you put into your workouts, the more you get out of it. It's hugely important to focus and to do things with intent and with reason. And again, that is a life lesson. Bing! Put that up there, Matt. <laughs> Matt's my editor. Put that up there, Matt. Life lesson, everything with intent. The more intent you put into your life, the more you start to take control. The more you realize it's not anybody else's fault. The more you realize it's not you, it's, it's all within your control. Everything that happens in your sphere. All right, you can only control your process, not the outcome. All right, I'm gonna take a brief pause, take a sip of water here. Process is more important than outcome. Okay, pinging it back up. Am I finished? No, I'm not finished. Erg data. Why do we stop rowing? Erg data always wants to check in. Are you still there? Like Netflix. Are you still watching? You're like, yeah, I'm still watching. I know it's been three hours. So what? Okay, we're gonna pick this up at a 20. Here we go, picking it up at a 20. Next eight minutes starting now. Gotta calm myself down. I'm so excited from the last round. Here we go. There's the 20. It only took me 15 seconds to get there. Shame on me. Make sure you're being direct. Handle straight in, straight out. Hips are moving 11 to one. Nobody's sitting vertically. Spine straight at 12 o'clock the whole time. Let your hips move. Motion is lotion, my friends. After all, you're here for a reason. Give that body some lotion. Movement is your friend. Multiple movements are even better. Don't just use one. Rowing's great, but you know what else is better? Acting like a kid. Walking around on all fours, tumbling on the ground, rolling around with kids or grandkids. The older we get, the more childlike we should become. But instead, our neuroplasticity begins to drop because we start taking ourselves in life too seriously. If we can just laugh it off every once in a while and just be silly, man, it's like 
Pandora's box of life vitality. You're like, Shane, how did you get there from rowing? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got you, huh? You know it too. Look how happy kids are. Look how free they are. They don't care about the parameters because they don't understand them yet. Our goal is to have to forget parameters. That's even harder. Okay, we're gonna make a shift up to a 24. Bigger jump here, here we go, 24. I know, you're like, wait, this isn't what you did last time. No, it's not, and that's why you're benefiting from being here and following through. You get the fun stuff. There's a little bit of fun in not knowing what it's gonna be. So I did a heavy squat workout right before this and my legs feel surprisingly good. You're benefiting from that. Having some fun at these rates now. I'm gonna teach you to control stroke right? Whether you know it or not, following along with me, hitting the rhythm. Look how long my legs stay extended before they bend again. Be patient. Get the arms and body away. What's gonna come next? And are you ready for it? Do you think you're gonna stay focused enough I just want to hold that change? I just want to keep it alive. Getting ready to shift. And down to on this one. 22. Don't let that split run away from you. Stay aggressive now. And that really is the key whenever rate drops. And half the reason that we practice rate drops is so that you learn how to put power into every stroke rate and not just rely on spinning your wheels. So if you're giving yourself a handicap by enjoying that higher stroke rate, now we're kind of taking that handicap back and saying, all right, all right, but show me you got power. Show me you got it. Mmm, I'm enjoying that smoothness right now. How smooth you feel? Shouldn't feel any jerking. Focus on a quick but smooth turnaround at the catch, the front of the stroke. Join me. Not slow, but fast, simply in the rate at which you change direction. You're almost feathering it. You're just like finessing the machine at that rate. Final two minutes coming up. What's it gonna be? 26. Let's do it. Here you go. Keep those mechanics. Stay with me. Ooh, it feels good. Pushing with me now. Come on. Enjoy this rate. 
Don't give up that power. Ooh. Cook it. Be powerful. Come on. Use those legs. Make your glutes work. Make your quads work. Let the arms just hang on for dear life. Man, I'm motivating myself. <laughs> My rate wants to climb. Here we go, final minute. 26. Breathe. Listen to your breath. Push. Hey. Come on. Go. Well, nothing bad. You've got this. Go. Drive. Thanks. Power. Push. Dig. Come on. Every last stroke. Nice and easy now. Woo. Climb that one up a little bit more, huh? Now you're thinking to yourself, Shane, that wasn't fair. You didn't keep the same stroke rate. Jumps there. No, I did not. Here's where we get to have some fun with it. Number three, isn't even gonna be like one or two. What's it gonna be? Wipe that sweat off your brow. Dry those hands. Focus on big exhales right now. Body will naturally inhale. So you want to, you know what it doesn't do? Naturally exhale. It exhales in a little spurt. <laughs> but that's not going to bring fresh oxygen into the body. I'm going to stop for some water. That's not going to bring fresh oxygen into the body. You need to get all that used oxygen out so that you can take this nice, full, deep, energetic breath. Oh. That's some good water. Okay, picking it up again. No, I'm not finished third data, but thank you for watching. Thank you for paying attention. Ugh. Wasn't me. Who was that? Okay. Final eight minutes. What's going to happen, folks? Getting ready to go. In five. Three. Two, one, 28, eight. Take it up, come on. We're starting at this high rate here, two minutes. Let's shock those bodies. Learn how to hold it. Uh oh, 27, no way. Here we go, I'm holding it for you. Stay with me, fast turnarounds. That's catching at the release. What is with this high rating early on? Where's it gonna go? Your goal, find rhythm. Even at the high rate, still learn how to push through the legs. All right, I gotta be quiet. That's more air than I wanted to hear.
What's it gonna be? Twenty six on this one. Let's go. Well, I'm at that twenty seven. There we go. I just don't want to go too low, you know. Just don't want to take it easy on myself. Who are you? Another minute here. I make no promises on what the workout turns out to be. You got this. Stick with me. Go. Getting ready to transition. You're working for it now. And 24. Here we go. Whoops. Zone in on your breathing right now. I'm going to be quiet. Listen to your rhythmic breathing and follow along with me. Here we go. 28. Finishing strong. Let's go. You got it. Match me. Quiet because I'm pushing.
Here we go. Final 30. Oh, easy. Huh. Spin with me here. Focus on your exhale. Grab a shallow breathe in there. And my throat is dry. Whew. You work me. Happy to have you along for the journey, though. I want you to keep this cool down spin going. There's no pressure whatsoever. We're just gonna roll right into our cool down together. Here we go. All right. We're just mellowing out right now. <clears throat> Cruising, just existing. Let your mind be blank. Let your body. Appreciate. Sorry. A sweat in the eyes. That stinks. Appreciate what you just did. And know that a cool down is like a multiplier for the value of your workout. A workout done with a cool down is just a 10x workout. Okay. I'm just gonna take that stroke rate way down. In fact, I want you to take your handle, I want you to take your damper setting all the way down to one. Yes, this acts as a multi-tool. No, it's not gonna damage the machine. For those of you that can't adjust your damper, it's okay. just keep moving with this. So taking away all that flywheel resistance means it's just you moving through space and time now. Sitting tall with good mechanics. Legs pressing down to extension. Pushing your energy into the foot stretchers. And handle down. I want you to just grab your toes. Straighten your legs. Straighten your legs in case you couldn't hear me. Because <laughs> I'm not facing the mic. Straighten those legs and just let your body drape forward. Strap your feet now. Right foot on top of the left knee. And just get a nice forward lean here. Let your heart rate come down. Let your breathing come down. And adjust this foot as necessary so that you feel it in your glute. You don't want to feel anything in your knee. If you do, it's not in a good place. Just adjust. And let's switch legs. Get you with the text on XO. My ace boom boom, no flex, no. 
I won't gas you up like Petro. Just trying to take your way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that. Work now, play later. But you keep going off on me. Keep texting like a song on me. Yeah, you're all in my head. Out of that. And I want you to step off your machine. You have one off the machine. Lay down on the floor. Press that chest up. And let your hips sink to the floor. And just take five big deep breaths. Done. Oh, come back up to all fours and reclaim your seat. That, my friends, is how you get in a beginning to end workout. So, and a little bonus question answer for many of you. A lot of people ask, number one, what's your drag factor? And number two, why don't you ever show us your screen? So I just wanted to answer those for you. Number one, my drag factor is usually around a 123 to 130. That's just generally what I use, but drag factor is specific to everyone, so it doesn't really matter. And that's why I tend to not show it or tell you is because it doesn't matter to you. What matters is that you find a drag factor you are happy with. And if you are wondering, how do I figure out my drag factor? Watch any of our other videos with, about drag factor. Number two, my results. Can we please watch your monitor as you go? Also, no, because it doesn't matter. My results are not what you need to care about. What you care about, and the beauty of rowing, is that you are racing against yourself and you are simply trying to improve against your own times, your own scores. And that's why tracking and using something like Erg Data, you know, the, the app that I use to connect to my phone, is so important is because then if you do 2,000 meters eight weeks apart, you can check how did you improve across those eight weeks. So I tend to not show my results, but I do connect to Strava. So for those of you that want to see my results, go on to Strava and search for Shane Farmer and you'll be able to see me and almost every workout that I do on this machine gets kicked over to Strava. So you may have to do a little piecing together of dates and when I filmed and whatnot, but you'll be able to see all of my results. And finally, many of you wanna know how to interact with me on a regular basis, either in the community tab here, whenever I drop a question, yesterday or a few days ago, for example, I dropped a discount code to the crew, so anybody who's been thinking about it, you can get that in the community tab. But also I'm on Twitter, and that's at Shane Farmer. Come find me over there, and I love to chat. I love to discuss and hear what you guys wanna hear about and be able to interact with you guys. So find me on Twitter, or interact with us in the community tab, and I hope that answered your questions. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it. Too many of you are not subscribed here, which means that you miss every time we come out with a new video. Why would you be missing free workouts? That's insane. Click it, go. Go do the thing. Later.